I was going to show you guys some stuff here, uh, a little bit of an update, and one of the things that I'm going to show you guys is a lot of people think you have to do a body off the pan to do a good job on a restoration, but really it all depends on the condition of the car. So if your heater channels are bad, you're going to have to do body off the pan. If your pan halves are bad, you're going to do, you know, if you got to do the whole pan half, like if the whole thing's wasted. Um, this one had a couple of pinholes up in the front area, um, but uh, it's kind of a judgment call. A lot of people think, oh, well, it's got pinholes in it. I should replace it all. Well, just so you know, the pan have pieces, the new ones, are thinner than the original ones. I don't care what anybody says. They, they say, oh, it's 18 gauge. No, I pick up an 18 gauge piece of steel that I have. And I'm like, there's no, absolutely no way that that's 18 gauge because it's way heavy, you know, way heavier. So anyway, they're like 20 gauge, the ones you get are, or even thinner than that, maybe 22. So anyway, I try and save them because this one only had a couple pinholes. How you can do that is if you have a couple pinholes and it's in your floor pan, you're not looking for a show car, you can actually use foil tape over them after you've treated it. So all this got treated with that uh, rust converter first, and it's still drying right now. I, I don't leave, I don't put gloss on, on any floors. I use a satin, so it's gonna dry out real satiny, but I don't really care because I'm putting, completely covering this whole floor up. I just want it protected. It's probably protected just fine with the, uh, with the rust converter. Rust converter has a, a finish on it, but because I watered it down a little bit, I want to put something over that to make sure. Um, but you could really see how that the, all the rust was red and it turned completely black. So I removed all the tar because this was up in the mountains where they get snow and it might have had some salt that got underneath there, stuff like that. But I removed it all. This is all my patch area. It's all going to dry out satin so you won't see all this globby looking stuff. What I use, um, because it's gonna get covered up, I use a weenie roller or a Slim Jim roller, roll over all of it real quick. And um, I use a water-based hybrid oil. Let me show you what that is. In California, they don't have oil base anymore. So they have this product here, Vista Paint, which is a local paint company, has this alkaline emulsion, okay? And what that is, it's a it's a alkali based paint, which is oil, suspended in a water based paint. So what happens is it goes on in a water base, and as it dries, um, you can get it off your hands at first with with water, uh, and as soon as it dries, you got to use paint thinner. So pretty neat stuff. Um, so it's a little easier to work with. It actually has better properties than even the oil base that we've had recently. And it dries a lot faster. So it's great for a project like this because you can, you know, you can put it on your floors and heat it up. Um, but I haven't done an update on the car, so I'm going to walk through what I've done so far so you guys can check it out. Uh, I know there's a lot of people really interested in seeing this car when it's done. It's it's coming out really really nice um i have to say that the finish is actually a little bit better than i even expected it to be on everything um like i said i blow through them so fast and sometimes when you slow down too much you you end up getting burnt out and then you don't do as good a job so it's better to just go a little faster like the shortcuts i'm showing you guys are really good to make it turn out nice still get a nice job I'm not I don't do a junk car I mean cars look really nice so so anyway here's the we got the windows in uh, most of the wiring's in I just figured out that I do have the right turn signal switch I was looking for I was going this is a four wire switch there's no such thing as a four wire then I found the other two wires tucked underneath so I have all six wires so I'm like thank god because those are super hard to find two year only switch 150 bucks if they have one new, but everybody's out of them. I got to put on the tail lights. I found out I painted them real quick and I didn't even pay attention to it. And what they gave me was two extra left tail lights. 
So now uh, I had to repair the one for the right side that was dented and then the glass was broken. So they gave me an extra tail light for the lens and for the parts that were bad inside. So anyway, bummer, got to take it back apart. But anyway, I got a video out of that for you guys to show you guys how to do those. We got the license plate light on. Uh, I actually do a shortcut right here. Uh, people will hate me for this. I actually opened this thing up so I can put my wire in there because if you ever have to take your deck lid off, you'd be cutting this wire or taking that hump off because you've you got to have the gasket on it when you put it on. And the wire's not long enough to do that, and it's just a pain in the ass, so it's much easier just to open it up and stick your wire in. A little shortcut for you guys who don't feel like dealing with that. Because I know I'm going to have to take it off some day soon. Sometime. You always end up have to take it off for some reason. You have to do something with your fan shroud or something like that. Who knows? But anyway, um, let's back up here and take a look. We've got a lot of parts everywhere. Um, I can't find my hubcaps. I got brand new hubcaps for this thing somewhere. I don't know where they are. So, got those to put on. I have some originals too, so give me an idea if you guys think I should straighten the originals that I have. Here's one of them. It's got a little, little bit dent going. I can polish these up. Look like really nice, really good condition. Um, <clears throat> Some guys will say, all original, man. I'll go original. I have like a full set of original hubcaps that are dented, but I could probably straighten them fairly well. I'm not a, a chrome straightening guy. Um, I got these bumpers. They're yeah, pieced together stuff. It's, I don't know. Yeah, it's so expensive for brand new ones. They're 500 bucks. But these things are totally rad. Original ones you see how these are bubbled out a little bit more if you look at the, the replacement lenses they just don't look the same um, original horn this thing's made out of serious aluminum <laughs> and then this is a reproduction it looks shiny but it's made out of tin aluminum uh, got this guy on here though I went for the early I, I like these so and look at that chrome on here so i bought another my friend had a bunch of uh really nice chrome pieces uh they were original never been re-chromed um and these came in the car which was amazing